Time to end this, do you not think? Hello guys, my tripper here. So today I will talk to you about Daniel. I will try to teach you uh, how to play with him against uh, God Squads. I will not show you, the, like, you can win most of your matches with any deck on SC, like, you don't even need a good deck, at least on PS4, against most of the, against, uh, most of the teams. <coughs> so, the deck I'm using right now, the equipment I'm using as the skills I'm using. Uh, I, update, I updated my build, I updated all of this after each after every encounter against a god squad after playing against a god squad you learn things okay you see weaknesses in your build and then you change things in order to you know counter that <coughs> so i've learned that um, even if you're playing one mastermind you should always pick things from the other masterminds so when you play as Zanet, basically you spawn, you just spam with her, okay? You spawn a lot of creatures, you just keep spawning stuff in, in, in every room, you know? So when I play as uh, as Daniel, I'm using uh, efficiency mode firearms and efficiency mode creatures in order to spawn a lot of creatures as much as I can and to get a lot of guns, you know? And uh, I can enable the laser rounds of it. I have energy leech too, in order to spam. Just remember, but it's really important to get a lot of creatures, like, to keep the pressure, you know. When I played as Alex, I learned that infecting survivors can be very important. Basically, I'm spreading the infection. When you spread the infection, and you infect a lot of them, they cough. And when they cough, they lose 5 seconds for each cough. When they cough, they slow down too. They are, they are stunned for a few seconds, you know, if I'm just coughing and sick. So, if um, you are using your bioweapon, like the tyrant, and the survivor starts coughing, it's a free kill. For example, just saying. Uh, if you play a 10 minute game and you spread the infection well enough, you, you will reduce the timer by 2 or 3 minutes just by infecting them. So, Spencer now. When I played as Spencer, he's the most versatile mastermind. You can do everything with him because he has so much bio energy, okay? So versatility is very important to keep the pressure, you know? So basically as Daniel, you are supposed to do a lot of things. For example, I will go, I will be behind the door and control a creature. I will maybe grab a survivor, bam, I switch to the camera. With my air cannon, I shoot the survivor. Pam. I go into again. Pam. I just come back to my top zombie and control him again. Pam. I switch to something. I switch, I switch, I switch. Again and again. Okay? That's something you should do to keep the pressure. Now, Nikolai, well, with him, I learned that uh, guns can be very, very powerful. And you can down survivors with. You can down a survivor with just one gun very easily. Okay? <coughs> so, back to Daniel. As you can see, I don't have only creatures in my build. I think it's, I think that doesn't work. Not anymore, at least. Uh, God squads. If you're only using creatures, they may have a January, who is able to get a spark shot very early in the game, and well, you, you will most you will lose the game. If they have, if they are very good and they have a bunch of special weapons in the game, and you are, and you are only using creatures in your deck, you will lose the game. You can tell me. Uh, you can be using um, resilient skin, whatever, anything you want on your creatures. You will just lose the game if they are very good survivors. If you only have creatures in your deck. So my choice was to go with creatures and with guns. I could have go with um, I could have go with mines, but I went for the guns because I think creature controlled creatures and guns are a very good combination. Guns by themselves can kill survivors too, just like my creatures. So I went for a mix between tough zombies and those two guns here. I also have air cannon and immobilizing rounds as well. 
uh, in my opinion, those are the two best cards in the game. So I think you should use them. I have the Enhancer Berserker to make my tough zombies uh, faster. And by being faster, I can prevent survivors from spin burning uh, more, okay? Fate awaits right in the final line for you. So yeah, as I was saying, I can prevent them from spin winning. So that's the point of my unanswered berserker here. So now, why am I using Vault cards and not other cards? For example, a crawling zombie, zombie, zombie infectious, um, theater, jester, boss heli red zombie, zombie dog. All those creatures, they are too weak. You can you can have resilient skins, 3, 2, and 1, they will kill them very quickly. Very good players will kill all of those creatures very quickly and gain time from them. And that's not good. When you play as Daniel, you should be controlling every creature which spawns on the map at least uh, I mean if you can obviously okay and those creatures are too weak they will last uh, one second or half a second against good teams that's why I don't use them I would recommend using Tough Zombie Infectious or Tough Zombie because they are strong enough to last at least a few seconds against uh, very good teams that's why I'm only using those two uh okay well so well for nerfed region so it's pretty much useless now i mean your zombies may last uh, a second more because they are regenerating themselves against very good players but that's it it's not good anymore i don't need uh i don't need this because in my presets i have infected zombies and i also have um, a tough zombie infectious okay uh so that's my deck. <coughs> now my equipment. Well, I, I rely uh, I rely on creatures most of the time. So because of that, I have a rather class free. That uh, increases the attack power of my creatures. And at the same time, so the more damage you get on survivors, the more infection you get too. So by using rather claws, you infect them more and you get more damage. But uh, that sounds good, right? Well, it's good. I can tell you it is. And I'm also using Fortifying, fortifying Virus 3 because um, you, you need at least one, like a one perk like this. Because if you don't have a fortify, uh, Fortifying Virus or Resilient Skin 3, maybe, your creatures will not last. They will not last long enough. And now, a Large Caliber Barrel 3 which increases damage by firearms. Why am I using this? Okay, if you watch my deck, I have two creatures. I have two creatures and two guns. So I think that makes sense uh, that I'm using seven equipment points to buff my guns. All right, uh, so that's for the deck and the equipment, which, as you can see, synergy are supposed to synergize together perfectly. Okay. And now the skills. So, brutality or wind up? I would go for brutality for one simple reason. Wind up enables you to do more damage if you are using the ball rush. <coughs> Thing is, when you hit a player with uh, the hook punch from the ball rush, he will be stunned after that for a few seconds, and he will you will be able to punch him a few times and down him anyways. So, what's the point of using a? Uh, uh, this variant if you will down them anyways, you don't need this amount of damage very good on anyways, no matter what So I will go with brutality. Brutality just saying is uh, it's very good um, uh, In in some uh, in rooms if you spawn your tyrant in a room and you have brutality You will very easily corner a player and down him Okay So now vampire or render I go with vampire because your zombie will last a little longer and you will be able to spread the infection more. You will be able to hit them a little more. 
If you're using grand, you will mostly have to focus one player. Thing is, you can't really focus one player in this game. If you if you focus one player, the three of the three of us are free to do anything they want. They will most probably just run and grab your keys to your devices while you are grabbing this one player. So yeah, I will go with vampire. I think it's better. But endurance is better. Everyone knows that. So now, why am I using the detonator berserker? Because I think Dila is not good. Uh, I don't think she has enough health to... to uh, I mean, if you're using the dealer, you're supposed to grab players. But you will mostly not be able to do that against very good players. They will kill your dealer in one second, maybe? So yeah, I'm going with the detonator. You, if I can't knock him back, so you will, if you are good at... Uh, how to say... If you anticipate them and spawn him 10 second in a room 10 seconds before they arrive, you will most certainly get the hit. Okay? It's very easy to do if you anticipate them. Now, well, as you see, I, I already have two mods in my deck, so using a third mod will be a waste. Uh, that would be a very problematic in a referee if I have three mods in my deck. <coughs> okay? Uh, now, my voice lines, <laughs> just for fun, honestly, they are not very important, but... <coughs> I love this one, just saying. Well, maybe you will win the game one day by spamming this? All the time? Maybe they will just die laughing? <laughs> Who knows? I just love this one. Time to end this, do you not think? Bonjour, I see you. I could let you leave. I will not, but I could. Uh, uh, something I just noticed. Um, I don't choose uh, the turret rifle. You clearly cannot rely on that at all. This does not do enough damage, even even with the damage increase I have in my equipment. So it will not down survivors anyways. Um, because you are not controlling it, it's it's not uh, consistent at all. Most of the time, so I was, we just get 20 seconds from it. We will also get, uh, we probably get a few shots on them with that, but that's it. That's not good enough. That's not good enough against the uh, God Squad, okay? So, I use uh, the high caliber rifle. This relies on your accuracy, and that's it. It's you, you control it, so that's you. If you miss, it's a fault, you know? Same for the machine gun. Both are extremely powerful. Okay. And yeah, that was just a little thing. And here's the energy leech. This might be good, but I don't know. If this doesn't work well enough, I'll probably go back to the track of mine, which allows me to cycle through my deck faster. And um, if a survivor gets hit by this mine, I will be able to down him for sure. Either with my one of my powerful guns or with one of my uh, tough zombies. I will, it's for sure. So it synergizes really well. And survivors will not expect to see mines. I mean, they, are, <laughs> I mean, they see zombies, they see guns on cameras and mines. They will have to watch everywhere, you know? Um, Alright, that's it. So now. Uh, I will show you a clip of a game I did uh, today. I was playing against uh, Descent Survivors. That's a short clip, the video is already way too long. So I hope this tutorial will help you. I just see too many mastermind lose games like badly, you know? Like they're. I don't know if it's bad for them, you know? So hopefully this tutorial will help you and that you enjoyed watching it. Okay, so as you can see, some decent ranks there, 70 something, 14, 40 and 39. A lot of guns in my hand. That's a very good thing. But today, I see something new. 
There is always a higher madness just, that can be found. Um, right now I'm just watching the map. See? Watching the map is very important. You should always do it. Okay. Uh, you get fan locations for free by doing that. See, no hesitation there. If I can get uh, even just one survivor with the group up with the air cannon, I do it. Very good combo here. Goop, but a grab. A little of, jo of uh, dodge chasing right now. A grab again. Now high caliber rifle. Check this damage. Boom, I shot. <laughs> Almost 600 with an I shot on jail. <coughs> Work. The I got it from was see, see how I keep switching. Guns, mines, control zombies. Right now, control zombie. Really she's by herself. Or, so she, she will go down no matter what. She can't do anything right now. It's a bit sad. Very bad decision from her right here. Oop, easy dodge, easy grab. Combo here. A grab, run the machine gun. See? It's very quick. Not arriving. Grab again. I control the zombie to make sure that I get to grab, but some doesn't help him. Yeah, I was just using my voice lines at this point. Uh, it was a win, it's obvious. Too much damage. So, you know, just see how how I played there. I infected them, you know, spreading the infection, it's important. I did a lot of damage by using guns, similar to Nikolai. I used different cards, diff I switched uh, very often from the camera to a controlled zombie, or you know, keep switching. Just versatility, as I explained. And I had a lot of pyro energy, you know, because of my two mods. I was able to spam consisten consistently, you know, use a lot of different cards and uh, keep the pressure on them, you know. So that's my breed here, that's uh, a good example of how you should make it work. I hope you enjoyed the video and especially that uh, this tutorial will help you in your games if you play as Daniel. Hopefully this might change your perspective if you, if you thought that Daniel was bad. Maybe now you, you can possibly think that he, he can be viable against good teams, right? Um, thanks for watching. Bye.